Hi, I'm Chet Nichols, IFBB Pro, and I'm also a coach. Today, we're gonna to hit some shoulders. One way that I know that you can really maximize your growth of your shoulders is by doing BFR training, that's blood flow restrictive training. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do four cluster sets. That's sets of 30, 15, 15, and 15. You wanna use about 25% of your calculated one rep max, and today we're doing shoulders, and nobody's gonna go out there and do a one rep max on a shoulder. So it's probably good I do about seven to 10 reps and then calculate it. You can find the formula on bodybuilding.com or somewhere else like that to get your calculated one rep max. Today, Bree's gonna show us how to do it. We're gonna do it with laterals. Let's have some fun. So what we're gonna use are these tourniquets. These are just medical tourniquets. We're gonna put them between her shoulders and her triceps. You can kind of see this little channel right here. That's where we wanna put them. We don't wanna cover the muscles themselves up too much because research has shown that anything that is covered by the straps or the cuffs doesn't maximize the hypertrophy benefits. It does, it does maximize the strength, but it doesn't maximize the hypertrophy benefits. Now, a lot of people have questions, well, how do I know if these things are too tight or they're not tight enough? Well, you gotta do a little trial and error, and I suggest you start kind of on a conservative nature. So let's say the tightness is on a scale of one to 10. For the arms, I would suggest starting off with about a seven or eight, see how it feels, and then go up if you need to. How's that feel? Between a one to 10, how much, how tight does it feel? About a seven, okay, good. Another indicator about your weight, or if you're using the right load, is if you can't get through the first 30 reps, you either got the bands on too tight or you're using too much weight. Or if you get through the second set and you're still not feeling a lot of pressure, or a lot of pump, you probably need to tighten the bands or go up in your weight. About the same, I think that might be a little more loose. Is it? Okay. So what are we gonna use, 10 pounds? That we use typically use, 10? Okay. Typically when people do lateral raises, go ahead. The traditional way is to put it like this, go ahead and raise it up. But we're not gonna do that today. There's nothing wrong with it. We're gonna twist them pinkies out, okay? All the way, there you go. And raise them that way, it puts a little bit more emphasis on the medial delts. I mean, that's what looks good after all when we're going out to the beach, on stage, those glamour muscles. Guys, girls, you know we all love them. So let's get after it. 30. Good. 18. You notice when she's doing them, she's not, she's only raising her arms, her shoulders to about parallel to the ground. Don't want to go any higher than that because we have a tendency to start getting our traps involved, which is something we don't want to do. Again, this is a focus on the shoulders. Good. I lost count, but I think we got about five more. Okay, good. Good. You want to complete this whole set? The whole workout on these? Okay, let's do it then. We'll do the whole thing. Let's have some fun. Go ahead and drop them down. Okay, good deal. How do you feel? Eventually, you may start to see some discoloration in the arms. You can start to see a little bit of uh, like redness come in, a little purple. That's fine. That's just the blood pulling in the muscles, which is what we want. So that's what happens here. By putting the cuffs on, we're restricting the blood flow out. All the blood is going in, but we're restricting it, not coming, not cutting it off, going out. That causes the muscles, or the blood to go into the muscles, the lactic acid, the metabolites, and all that kind of stuff go in the muscles and expand the muscle cell. When this happens, two things are gonna happen. One, either the muscle cell is gonna to go to full capacity or it's gonna burst. Either way, it's gonna be breaking the muscles down. It's also gonna stretch the fascia, kind of like BF, or kind of like FST7 training, which is also good to help uh, maximize our growth. All right, ready? <clears throat> Typically, you'll wait 20 seconds in between sets. Let's go. Good. That's it, come on, let's go. Let's work, come on, bring us work, work. All the way to 15, all the way to 15. Should start to get a little painful. Yeah, there's the face, there's the face, there it is, there's the face. Yeah, when that face starts coming down around that last few of the first uh, of the second set, you know you got the weight right, the scuff's tight. Let's do a little bit tighter though. Let's see here. All right, five more seconds. Set number three. <clears throat> this is where it can really start to get burning. Let's go, come on. Take it up, take it up. Two. The speed or the tempo of the reps is gonna be a little bit faster on this than, tri 
typical hypertrophy sediment because the purpose is to get that blood in there. So think like you're running water through a pump and you gotta manually pump that water in there. That's what we're doing to the blood. All right, there you go. Last set coming up, how you feeling? Are they burning? Let me go tighter. Oh, I see, look at that. There it goes, that color, look at that, good. Nice, nice, nice. You gotta smile right now, I know you love this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, last set, ready? Let's go, last one, last one. Five, six, good, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, let's go. And there's that face, nice. Also remember when you're taking the cuffs off, be careful. Cause you pop these things off, sometimes they can come around and slap in the face. I got a little black eye one time for one. Everybody thought my wife beat me up. <laughs> she could, but you know, I should have blamed it on her. All right, how you feel? Good. All right guys, I hope that you guys got some good tips out of this. Again, BF, BFR training. One of the best things out there, and it's also one of the exercises out there that has probably the most scientific literature on it, if not the most. So scientifically, it's safe, it's effective, and it works. Another benefit of it too, if there's somebody who has some joint issues like I do, since we're using a lot less weight, it's another way we can get through our workouts without you know, maximizing pain or kind of make problems linger on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's workout and I hope you learned something. So take care, another tip for you.